It began on a quiet night, when the ocean whispered a warning only nature could hear. Beneath the Pacific, the earth stirred, a silent movement felt by none above. An ancient force long asleep began to stir, echoing its breath through the land. At the edge of land, the tremors began to whisper. Those closest to the sea often sense its moods first. Without warning, the ocean exhaled and pulled away from the world. This simulation is designed to visualize a real-world threat. Viewer discretion advised. Support our work by subscribing. Share to spread awareness. For generations, life along Papua's coastline has flowed with the sea. Evening arrives peacefully in Itape, unaware of what looms beyond the horizon. The signs were there, etched in the horizon's edge for those who dared to see. Quake, quake felt in the Solomons. Whispers of unrest echoed from neighboring islands, but no one knew what they foretold. Beneath roots and rock, something ancient was shifting. The ocean began to move in ways no tide could explain. At a lonely outpost, machines warned of an event beyond measure. Before the storm comes silence, a silence that screams to those who listen. The ocean withdrew, not as part of its rhythm, but in fear. Some stared in awe, others sensed danger, but none truly understood. The sea had vanished, exposing secrets meant to stay submerged. Warnings came, but too late, too vague, or too far from belief. The land itself began to change, revealing fractures too quiet to scream. What began as a whisper now grew into a warning too loud to ignore. Eyes turned to the sea, now dark and wrong, too far gone to be natural. Beneath the Pacific floor, the earth had collapsed, triggering a chain reaction. As nature rose, human systems fell, just when they were needed most. The silence was no longer natural. It was total. The sea had vanished, leaving behind only confusion and warning. Nature's messengers knew what humans had forgotten. No waves, no wind, no sound. The silence before impact. The danger was now clear. But the clock had already started. A mountainside beneath the sea had fallen, triggering a catastrophe above. Gravity pulled the sea into the void, setting energy in violent motion. From a calm surface, something ancient and massive began to rise. Invisible to those on shore, the force surged forward with terrifying grace. When the ocean returns to balance, it does so with vengeance. It grew not by height alone, but by the momentum of oceans behind it. Then it appeared, colossal, silent, and impossible. In that moment, time slowed. 
but the wave did not. With nowhere to run, all they had left was instinct. What had taken minutes to build would take seconds to destroy. In seconds, the sea took back the land. Entire villages vanished beneath moving walls of ocean. Even the strongest roots couldn't stand. The sea tossed its own back to the land, broken and lost. In one breath, decades of life were torn apart. Water had become weapon. Where land once met sea, only motion remained. There was no line between sea and land, only disappearance. Where water should have drowned all, fire found its place. Survival was no longer a choice, but a race against water. Above the rising tide, hope held on to anything still standing. Steel and engine meant nothing to the weight of water. Where current met flood, chaos followed. The sea returned what it had taken, but not in the form it came. Then came the reminder, tsunamis don't strike just once. What fed the people was the next to be taken. As if summoned by sorrow, the sky lowered its gaze. In the chaos, a faint voice still tried to reach them. Seek high ground immediately. What was once life-giving had turned monstrous. To stay above water meant to climb, to climb, to endure. Those who knew the water best now fought to survive it. Maps drawn in ink were now obsolete, replaced by ruin. No place was sacred. No walls could hold. Then came the final blow, the wave that silenced what was left. When night came, it belonged to the sea. Where there was once laughter, only silence remained. Entire communities flattened, erased in minutes. Even the mangroves, nature's shield, were not spared. Every step forward meant walking through the past. Among the ruins, the strongest sound left was a name being called. When systems failed, flame returned, light bored from loss. With little and late, humanity still answered the call. Some places were forgotten by the road but not by those who walked it. What remained was not just broken, but reshaped. From the mud came miracles, survivors who lived to tell.
In silence and smoke, names were remembered. At last, the world watched what Papua endured. What triggered the wave would be studied for decades. Out of tragedy, wisdom began to grow. Preparedness saves lives. Let the sea never surprise us again.